Next up is a way to protect your loved ones from dangers in the air. Hi Sharks, my name is Kirby Holmes. I'm from Austin, Texas. This is my cousin. Hey Sharks, my name's Evan Darty, also from Austin, Texas, and we're here seeking $200,000 for 20% of our company. We live in a time when people are questioning the quality of the air they breathe with an increase in smoke from wildfires, dust storms, and oh yeah, the coronavirus. And while we've all gotten more comfortable wearing a filter mask to protect ourselves from air pollution and other threats, what about the ones we really love? Dogs <laughs> are, you are like members me? of our family. <laughs> <laughs> My dogs would kill me if I put this on them. And that is why we created the world's first air filter mask for dogs called the canine mask. <laughs> now pet owners have a safe and effective way to protect their pets from air pollution and other threats. It's specifically designed to fit the shape of a dog's muzzle. Our N95 and activated carbon air filters are replaceable, so you can wash the mask, because we know dogs, they make a super slobbery mess. That's right, the canine mask also comes in four different sizes to fit various muzzle shapes. It features two <laughs> adjustable straps, one around the neck and one around the chin to provide a secure fit but still allowing your dog room to pant. Something we can all wag our tails at. Sharks, who's ready to help all dogs breathe better with a canine mask? Why? So it's a carbon filter. It's uh, N95. And N95. And activated and, carbon and air filter. filter. Right. How did you come up with this idea? So here's the story. Five years ago, I'm on a date with my wife. We're at a nice cafe. I go into the bathroom and I'm washing my hands. Young guy walks in looks really sharp. Now the problem with that guy is he was wearing a blue surgical mask. When was this? This is in 2015. Okay. And I thought if this guy's trying to impress his date, it's not gonna work. So I thought, you know, the problem with this guy is he needed an air filter mask that would accessorize with his clothing. Well, I decided to start an affiliate website with stylish and fashionable air filter face mask. That in 2017, when we saw that the California wildfires were beginning to increase in volume uh, and intensity. There you go. And so when I saw on my website, somebody used the search term on my website, air filter mask for dogs. Boom, it hit me. Mm -hmm. That's a great idea. If people are struggling with air quality, like wildfire smoke, people okay, love Okay, I get it in pets. a wildfire, so, but so think really about the problem you're gonna have with dogs. Dogs, they stake out their territory with uh, urine, yeah. and it's very important when you're walking your dog that they check out who's in town. Sure, so sure. Yeah, but Kevin, that's irrelevant. Smell. It's absolutely irrelevant. This, Look, this if is, you're by the wildfires in yeah. California, yeah. Yeah. and yeah. you're trying to protect your pet, and you haven't right. been evacuated, yep. right? what are you going to do? This is right? not a leisure your, product. Your pet is no, just as You're talking about a casual situation where your dog's on a walk. We're yeah. talking about a crisis situation. So this is Today, crisis mask. Crisis smoke. Yes. Mm -hmm. Now, that's why we created the product. But listen, here's other things that are happening around the world. When there is a red tide, toxic algae bloom, that's around Florida, right. that is a toxin that you don't want to breathe and you don't want your dog to Correct. breathe. Correct. So Kirby, I so give you $200,000. How do I find these special situation dog owners? Because I can't sell to the dogs, they don't have credit cards. You go anywhere yeah. that's had a wildfire. Why don't we ask them about their sales? Because then they're going to either prove us right or wrong. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. What are your sales? So $204,000 in the last 14 months. Ooh. Wah, and that wah, includes wah, COVID. Wah, wah. So people worried about this during COVID. Did you get a spike? Yes. Now, we did $45,000 in sales last year. We had $159,000 in sales this year. I love that you created this, that you're caring about dogs. I mean, dog, you should have them for cats, too. Um, <laughs> yeah, try putting one on a cat. Well, cat why stop there? Gonna, what like, about raccoons? Well. What about rats? <laughs> what about mice? They need masks. We have uh, thought about the design for cats, for horses. We haven't gotten to the pricing, sorry. Yeah. How, so much how much are you retailing it for? Right. Retail for $59. Cost? And how much does it cost landed to make? It costs us twenty-five dollars to it's make. It's expensive. Are you made here? Wow. So yeah. don't you? Th you know, another alternative is you just get a new dog. <laughs> like that oh, is expensive. <laughs> Who is this guy? But I think it's a brilliant idea. Yeah. I think it's a great execution. The real problem I have in the sales aren't enough, right? Mm. You got to explain to me why sales aren't dramatically higher. It would be great if more people knew about our brand. We need to get awareness around this product. I love the part of your story about you know kind of seeing what people are searching for. Yeah. But now more than ever, people are searching for masks, and I assume mm -hmm. they're searching some for masks for dogs, but yeah. that's not translating into sales. And so that's where 
I have the biggest problem with this. No one's buying. Well, it's up to you to decide is no one buying when you sell 200,000 of something, uh, $200,000 worth of something, people are buying. Well, they're buying, but yeah. I think what Blake is saying is that it's just not buying in the type of magnitude that you might expect. Mm -hmm. For me, this is just too niche. So Understand. I wish you good luck, but I'm out. Thank you, Lori. Thank you, Lori. Yeah, the one yeah. thing we really need from uh, somebody here is to say, hey, let's lower the cost of your manufacturing. It's good product, like I said earlier. The real problem I have is the sales aren't enough. So for those reasons, I'm out. Okay. Thanks, Mark. Thanks, Mark. I love where your heart's at. Like, I have four dogs myself, and I would do anything to protect them in Absolutely. a challenging situation. But like Lori said, I just don't think that you've proven that there's a big enough market of people who are going to pull the trigger and spend $59 for this. Um, so for that reason, I wish you the best, but I'm out. Thanks, Blake. Thanks, Blake. Yeah. No, I'm out. I think maybe what some of you are missing, though, are people feel like their pet is a part of their family. Yeah. And yeah, if so a member I of your have, family is in crisis and that, hurting everybody's and saying, potential oh, harm. Everybody's saying the same thing, like $200,000 with the sales. It's not horrible. I mean, it's proof of concept. It shows that there, there's a need. Yeah. But I'm going to make you an offer. Oh! So the deal is $200,000 for 45%. Ouch. Hmm. Right. Jamie, you, do you have any flexibility on your equity? I don't, uh, yeah, 55% for $200,000. Okay. Now you know <laughs> where you stand, but at least you have an offer. Right. right. What well, do Jamie, you want to do? I appreciate the offer. Would you be willing to go down to 30% no. to be a part of this with us? No, I'm only giving you, I'm only asking 45 so that you guys own majority of the company. I would normally ask 50%. Because this is, I, I'm, I'm literally 50% about going to throw away my money. I, Would you do a deal at 40% with us? All right, you got a deal. <laughs> there you go. All right. Thank you, David. Woof, 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 woof. Thank you, uh, <laughs> no. We're going to help a lot of dogs. Uh, good job, this dog dogs. right here. Nice right. job, guys. Thank you, guys. Congrats, guys. Perfect right. Thank, Thank you so much, guys. Kirby. Congrats, Congrats you. Evan. Congrats. <laughs> yes, we did it, man. I can't believe it. we got to deal with these guys. I love it. I'm just thinking, when I'm in the city, when I'm walking my dog, my dog is smelling everything, and I really just thought about it. Holy crap, that snout has been coming in after smelling Damn a bunch of... Can you imagine the first yeah, time you try to put that on a German Shepherd? No way that my dog... That German is... Shepherd looked really pissed off. <laughs> they all look pissed. <laughs>